so so beautiful Let's go with this. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat, Parabrahma, Tasme Shi Guru Venamaha, Tasme Shi Guru Venamaha, Tasme Shi Guru Venamaha. This is the first Maharaj. The Putra, we having a outdoor discussion to learn from all of you what is the role right after a very long time we all are able to have a cup of tea outside sit outside and enjoy outside <laughs> thank you raja thank you thank you thank you thank you but now we we you know we were all having a discussion this morning already sitting outside we were discussing before even we go to the discussion, I felt one thing was very key. How you had a question asking it, how do we take it over? You know, how do we fight that out? So there is something called, and we had discussed this before also. This is also part of if you read Ashtavakar Gita, it is part of Ashtavakar Gita's teachings. That what is Drishti and Drishta. Oh, what is Drishti and Drishta? Drishti? I am. My existence. I can see, I can sense, I can feel. I. Second is Drishta. Drishta is who's just watching a play, what's happening. A stage show is going on and you're just watching that. So you're not attached to where you just enjoy that. You are part of it, but you're not part of it. You are there, but you're not there. You're around everybody, but you're not around anybody. Now, why is this becoming key in today's time? Why? Why is it becoming important? Hmm? Why is it becoming important? But why more in today's time? So now they are learning to be adapt adaption of what to be better to watch and play. Now, sometimes they hear coming back and saying it's easy to say when you live day to day life, it's very difficult. It's hard. And I, I get this very, you know, I understand also from a family standpoint, when you have your children, when you have your parents and you have your siblings, you have people around you, or maybe you have nobody around. Maybe you're living with everybody, but you're still alone. It's all different shades, right? No, what is, but what is it I am looking for? What is that I am looking for? Now, for me, there are two categories here. There are two categories there. What is that? Now, one of the one of the categories which really will help me to really lift myself is the moment if I become drishta, who's just watching, who's not like getting into it, it becomes easier for that person not to take anything inside. It's manasthiti or parasthiti. Situation, external or situation, internal. So if there's an external situation and, and you, are, you have a situation, suppose you and me and had an argument, right? We, we talked about it and we got upset and mad and blah, blah, blah. The moment everything happened, after that I go to my chamber, you go to your chamber. You should only give that much of time what is important for that to do? 
you are out of it you had a meeting you had a heated argument you are out of it don't keep carrying forward yourself and don't take it with you now we are not able to define or define is that if there is a pressure at work or somewhere else i'm not taking it home with me what am i doing is i'm taking it to my bed there has been a brother sister fight a family fight there has been an office situation business situation there could be so many things why do we have to carry that when i enter my bed too why why can't i wash my face hands and feet and say out if you are with your spouse wonderful if you are sleeping alone more wonderful you are not carrying to your bed why are you not carrying to your bed because if you carry to your bed you will not have a sound sleep you will have a disturbed sleep and a disturbed sleep will not give you peace in the morning that will keep you awake but will have no energy during the day but if you are keeping it out go to your bed sleep and move on now we this morning we talked about that spiral right now when we are when we are child we have a very thin book very thin book three four pages five pages our parents give us to do you know write an essay dictation write something build something ra papa mama god whatever right slowly gradually that is our life because that is our circle in the ch- in a childhood as we start to grow that spiral becomes thicker 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 now there is everybody from childhood till the age we are that becomes that thick now the beauty is we have, that is us that is us who has created the and the flexibility is that automatically the spiral also becomes bigger not only that but it also becomes we never realize that the binder which has become thicker we are still not using 70 to 80 percent of those pages we are not using them anymore are we using them people we know from 20 years back 30 years back 40 years back 10 years back 5 years back 4 years back. we are not even talking to them anymore we are not in touch with them anymore or maybe there are buried pains of life which are there and also buried happiness and pains and everything is there in that but that is not today are we able to pull that out and make our binder thinner again is the question why is that important to make that binder thinner why to live in the present what more putra beautiful to live in present yes but what more you are lightweight now you are lightweight the more lighter you are you are more able to enjoy your life give your life better part i had a discussion with one of the friends yesterday they were at the fair i was talking about children you know learning and adapting to or not adapting to the culture part of it like chanting some then temple and all that thing said you can't tell a child go and sit and do this initially you have to make them sit with you make a make a routine all of you sit together then gradually they will follow but if we expect them to happen it's not happening then you can build it up if they see the culture they'll build it up somewhere they'll catch it but that doesn't mean that we start to build a spiral imagine mera we also talked about this morning was so our th- and now spiral became this thicker wonderful so many people around us wonderful excellent good bad and ugly all experiences are there in life but when the final time comes that spiral is taken out not a straight line 
and all the pages are gone where who knows who knows can anybody give any idea about it now what happened or what you were carrying all your life now you have any clue what has happened to them which you said were very painful i couldn't do i never this it has happened it is good it is called that if you have a worsening situation accept it that my karmas are being washed yeah but there are new pages adding on no but we are, we are allowing them to happen we are not able to put our foot down obviously if you are allow somebody to keep writing on you why would that person not take advantage of not keep writing it's not in your control no everything is in our control the only thing difficult is to take a right decision and what is right is the hardest part or sometimes that is something which we don't want to accept it but how would you know which is right or wrong so this is where it comes when you are connected to yourself your your belief your consciousness your connectivity your trust there is lot of factors which helps you to make a right decision or you are getting connected somewhere to get a right thought process it's always there supporting things are always there in the nature trust me mere bachche always there imagine just a odd example okay but odd example look at that insect behind you that little insect there right right now for all of us as a human being that little insect which is on the ground does it has any meaning to us what are we all thinking what is it doing here picking up and throw right but if almighty had made him and give him that birth that first of all there's a reason for him to get that birth secondly he lives within the gaps of the earth he's not in the open he's not in the grass he's into the gaps why there are more insects in that eat them up clean them up rotate in them everything has a reason everything has a reason i was i was going through this and that will be the part two which i was wanting to really share and felt will come is that if you are not firm enough like arjuna he said everybody is mine who do i fight with my dada my guru my brothers like everybody is mine i i don't feel like fighting with them so was it wise enough for arjun to do that everybody was his so the other part of life comes up raja we have to understand one thing very importantly i understand all of you that it becomes sometimes that is we don't even look at certain pages of life they are so like they are so pressed into the 70% pages we have never reclaimed them we never touch them we never tear them off it happens in life majority of all of us have that part of life now what what is that we really need to understand what is it and i was thinking this deeper and deeper and finally i got to understand one good thing now this is contradiction to what we are talking huh? let me tell you what next we are talking it, it contradicts in a way but there is only one fine line is acceptance let me contradiction why you will say i'll tell you okay so now we all have heard in our lives all of us have heard that every being is parmatma is good or he is bad right or wrong is parmat the grass is parmatam the leaves parmatam branch tree insect anything anything in the air certain we cannot see them all parmatma under the water is parmatma if they are all parmatma then it is said you should not have 
any enmity or anything else from the other person. You should not have it. Now, what does it say? Why is it saying this? Why? If everybody is Bhagavan, then why are we having situations which are not suitable? Everybody is divine. Everybody has the same thing. And it, it is taught when you go into the journey of sadhana, when you get into the journey of rising yourself as elevation and samadhi, it is important that you don't have a difference with people because that's going to be bothering you. That's what is going to disturb you and not being able to let you sit. Now, what do we need to do there? Devas, Shiv, that insect is Shiv, all of you are Shiv, everything around is Shiv. Then, why am I facing all this? Why am I getting all this? Why am I being disturbed? I say, but So, here it comes. Everything which is happening is, is a journey of prarabdha, of sanchit karmas, which we don't know yet. That is in the coming out. If we have green grass, we have weed also growing along. Is it not? We have tulips also, grass also, and everything around. It is our part, it is my job to I make sure that I get everything else cleaned up except the tulips. Let them come out. But if I let them covered with all this, can you see everything mixed? Can you see them? Where are they? What, what you cannot see? Tulips. Are there tulips there? Put them. I want to show all of you put them here. So here. Can you see something that tulips are long? One or two of them? Yeah, one or two of them I can see. Right. <clears throat> now, because it is only one and two, not a lot, but there's so much grass and weed around it that two are also becoming like we don't can't see them. What do we need to do? What do I need to do? I need to make sure that I get that all cleaned up and moved away for that beauty to come out, for that to shine up. I need to do my trimming. I need to do my cleanup. I need to remove my weeds. I need to get cleared up so that there is no difference from that aspect of loving to all. It's not easy, but but it's not difficult. As Rakesh said this morning, and I agree with him, and I get him whenever I get his messages or something, I understand exactly from where he's coming from. If he doesn't tell me also, I know exactly what happened. Huh. <laughs> प्रेत दोनों होंगे लेकिन गण और प्रेत समाधि पे नहीं है मेरे सब मेरे ही है एक शिव ही ऐसे है जिनको हर कोई पूजता है जिनको दानव भी पूछते हैं देवता भी पूछते हैं मनुष्य भी पूछते हैं वो हर एक के लिए आते हैं लेकिन हर एक का अपना स्थान है हर एक का अपना स्थान है उन्होंने हर एक को अपनी जगह और संज्ञा दी है दे आर बीन गिवन द अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑन देयर ओन व्हेन दिस कम्स टू वीड निकल आया ना गॉट देयर लाइफ नाउ यू आइदर यू लेट देम स्प्रेड टू रियून योर अदर थिंग्स or it is your avgun which are coming out and remove them aside. This is an indication that you need to maintain your garden. How you need, I will give you everything. I'll give you everything. See, when you talk about a life of Dathya and Dhanav or Preet, right? The Prabhu says, I have everything around me. I have snake also around me. But it is all that how you can take care of it, how you can handle that. 
Why does it bother to everybody? The life of the Prates and Jagat, how is it not bothering everybody? Because people who are away from things, kept themselves alive, elevated, they don't get affected by that. Now, if you travel, if you once started into Samadhi, suppose all of you start sitting and getting into stage of Samadhi. I'm just put it this way. What will happen if you get into Samadhi? What will happen? Yeah, but what is... I agree, that's the ultimate stage. But what will happen? You've elevated yourself from all your thoughts now. You are away from everything now. So what happens is, ultimately, we need to focus that I am not going to be disturbed by all that things around me. I am going to connect myself to the stage of Samadhi. That way, I will leave everything. I am not going to let my human birth go away till I attain Samadhi. All these are barriers of holding you back in thoughts. Everything is a barrier. I'm not saying it is a bad or good barrier because, you know, loving your children, you call it Mo or Maya, but you love them. Is it not? Loving your siblings, your mother, your father, some could be respectful, but some could be over that also. Over that could be what? Attachments. But you still love them. But ultimately, do you realize all things which is pulling you down and keeping you engaged in their thoughts and action? Whatever is happening with us is keeping pulling us down with the thoughts of other people. Because they are behaving like this with me. They are doing this wrong with me. They are, I agree. But somewhere or the other, if you start practicing the thoughts that don't like to practice, because you have allowed the thoughts to sit in you. I try my best. It doesn't happen because we are very focused on what is there. If we say, okay, that is your karma. You are giving me, I'll do my cleanup. I'll do what I need to clean. Why I need to clean? Because I need a clean place to sit and do my sadhana, my meditation, my chanting, my simran, my puja, whatever I need to do, I will do. That's me. It's like, okay, let's put it this way, Raja. On more simple way. Let's all of us get, went to a restaurant, right? And it is a multi-cuisine restaurant. Now, what am I going to eat? Are all of you going to eat that out of respect? Maybe. But would you love to eat that? Maybe not. What would you say the next thing? Can I have a menu, please? Or if you are the host, what will you say? Please look at the menu and order what you want to eat. Is it right? Why is that right? I would prefer and love to eat what I would love, like it to happen, enjoy it. I may not enjoy the same food what you're going to have. I may not like the same flavor what you like. So I order my food, but I can enjoy that. And out of liking, I may order a little more. Maybe one extra snack plate, one extra appetizer, one extra starter, and maybe two extra dessert. Why? Because I love them. I like them. I'm not focused what you're eating. Maybe all of you are having like, you know, chicken roasted something something but you're liking you want to have a glass of champagne wine or lime soda or you know sweet lassi or you know what do you call that mango mango shake it's all your all up to us if we make our choices of what we want to eat why can't we make choices of what we want to think Why can't we stand and feel in ourselves, I don't need these pages anymore in my binder. Please go. Burn them today. I was sitting with somebody a day before or year. Baba just said one thing. Just sit and go back to all your journey of life. From the beginning until now. Remember the people who have, you have not what they have done to you, what you have done. Just finish it out. 
Have there been an argument? Get it over. Because you need to progress forward. Because you need to go forward. You don't want people pulling you. You need to go forward. Or change your actions of karmas in such a manner that everything gets burned out. You keep thinking, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do... That is not going to help you in any senses. Partial life will never help you that way. The whole spiral of our life, which we have built it over the years of time, that spiral will never help because that's becoming thicker and thicker. Me, mine is becoming stronger and stronger. And that is that has taken place on the top and at the bottom. Inside that pages, or we have not even used them for ages. And we are still thinking that I want to do meditation. There's no meditation. Our soul, which is the ultimate part of Parabrahma, is basically being a drishta, not drishti. A human form is carrying a drishti because we are involved in everything. That's become drishti. But the moment you become a step back and start enjoying what he's making you do, what's happening around you, what's going, you may be the channelizations of letting things to prove a tunnel. Like, you know, when the pipelines are put through, right? There's a, suppose the digging happens and government says, oh, we need to make a sewer line here or a water line here. What do they do? They dig it deeper and put pipelines. Is it right? So the water is coming from somewhere, get filterization and start to move to every home to go by. It's the same water. The source is the same. It doesn't change. Now, in that journey, all that pipes, big and small, they start claiming, so water passes through me. You know what? See, I'm making, it's, it's no, no sense. I am not, I'm just being placed by him to go through. He's, he's obliging me. He's gracing me. It is him who's making that happen, not me. I only need to enjoy that flow. I just need to enjoy that flow. Why do I need to enjoy that flow? Good or bad? The pipe could be carrying a sewer water or a Ganga water. Wherever I am placed by him. I don't know where I am placed. He knows why he placed me there. For me to keep thinking of that, what is passing through me, or I realize this, that no matter what, how much the girth is going through me, it is still he has made me sealed proof I don't get rusted. But good and bad water doesn't make anything. But the pipes which are placed are placed in a manner which is not going to impact me. I will not, for ages to come, I will still be there. Till the time I am hit very hard. Somebody comes and digs me in, puts an axe on me, damages me. Then I will be taken out and something else will be placed in my place. My life will be done. My journey would be done. My only, only request is, first, the spiral of life which we have created, build it up from a childhood till now, which has become that thick. Take the pages of 70% which you are not using them. One important thing. Please move it. Become again a thinner one. So that you become a lightweight and you can be easy to connect with him. That's one. What is two? If you believe everything what we see, we saw tulips, we saw grass, we saw weed. We need to find ourselves. We all see, let's let's put it this way, Mirabacha. In a human form, we all happen to do mistakes. Part of human part. But are we learning? Are we grasping? Are we understanding? Are we maturing? And then are we carrying forward? Yeah, things will happen. I got I got upset with Aditya, suppose. But I happen to upset with that second with Aditya. I'm not carrying forward with Aditya that time. It was the moment, that moment of time. It happened. Move on. Let's go on. 
I can't stop loving you. I start thinking of caring for you. Why? That is where your manasthiti comes. Your internal part comes. External and internal. Don't merge them. I want to be a learner all my life. Uh, all my life I want to be a learner. Because the day that light comes up in flames and says, Oh, so um, I am the one, I am the only one. There's no difference between me and Shiv, nature and me, because my body is nature. My body is. And my soul is Shiv. Because this body will be get merged with the nature. My soul will become part to Shiv again. <laughs> so is it important for me to get in day-to-day -day activities and let myself peace go away? Or is my Shiv important to me? Uttar, life will always play its role of karma, of prarabdha. I have been born to do things, keep my family happy, keep everybody give something all my life. I'll work day in, day out, my parents, my family, my children, my work, my this, that, that, that. Nobody wants to understand. I also want love. I also want peace. I also want happiness. I also want to be taken care of. I also want somebody should extend his hand. Yes, it can happen. But connect with the right source. <laughs> so connect with what? Connect with the right? Right source. So when you are connecting yourself with the right source, automatically you will get that flow. See, if you get to connect to Paramatma, what is Paramatma to give you? Paramatma only has one thing to give you. I am the source. I am the energy. I am the light. You are me and I am you. There's no difference between both of us. Let's connect back. Let's merge and do what is to be done by me. Be my part and do what I want you to do. Do flow with that and as your oil finishes i'll take you back with me burn for me you know when we put that lamp what happens is that wix which is there as the oil finishes that whole wix also burns out everything in that's burnt done finished panito You know, I love this bhajan of Baba sometimes. I really chant and I love that bhajan. It's like, Sai Prem De, Shanti De, Anand De, Baba Prem De, Sai Prem De, Shanti De, Anand De, Baba Prem De. Imagine, just saying this much only. Don't say nothing. Just say this much only. And, but say it with full devotion, with full connectivity. What will happen then, Putra? You will feel that your brain has shut down. You feel like something is evaporating. Something is rising. Tum ho sai. Daya ke sajar Tum ho sai Daya ke sajar What an imagination of a writer. What an imagination. We only need to win ourselves. 
nobody else you don't need to win nobody nobody we are always trying to win something and we cannot win nothing if we are able to win him we have won everything but the, for that making a spiral thinner that's one two i need to work on my inner situation not letting my peace go away in any circumstances three whatever is happening is happening for the best for me four if it is good and bad i'm just like that pipe with the water is just flowing through me i'm nothing to do i've got to be the drishta not drishti no more drishti the moment you become drishta then you are not bothered by what type of a water is flowing through you let it go and then yes every particle of every being in the universe is shiv and shakti but neither shakti ever said this neither shiv ever said this that something which is not right to be there just take it away oh they had their life don't let it go don't let the weed overpower you yes i am the gun and i am the avagun but you need to win over things because i am in you i am more stronger i am the soul i am you you are me if that is important for you then connect with me connect with me stay connected to me i will keep supplying you the energy the power the i will keep elevating you i'll take care of you i'll take care of you and the time comes i will take you but till that time my oil is there please enjoy that please enjoy that don't get carried away this happened this happened this will all be happening we have come in a human form to complete our karmas to complete our give and takes we are not here to for success or a failure whatever you are getting good or bad is just part of the journey let it come if you all of you remember back home when the holy would come you would not know who has thrown a color on you or balloon on you or a water on you we won't even know that what we should do can we can we control that who throwing balloon at you and that is full of colors in that boom, boom. so what do we do beta abhi holi dur hai or ultimate you don't even know from which angle to come you can't even tell anybody what do you do let's move on sometimes some stand in front of you and throw on you what do you do then are you going to fight are you going to change you already got wet now and maybe the whole street is throwing water and uh, balloons on you you get keep getting wet what do you do keep walking you will pass through that tunnel you will pass through that tunnel no matter what you will pass it's up to us hmm pakka everything okay with everybody super super so super nice super nice look at anita she is like la 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 mere bachche what we do now is let's baba's great is an amazing thing i really enjoyed it very thankful to all of you and before we go let's do a beautiful thing that we do all this right लोकासमस्तासुखिनो भवन्तु समस्तलोकासुखिनो भवन्तु लोकासमस्तासुखिनो भवन्तु समस्तलोकासुखिनो भवन्तु लोकासमस्तासुखिनो भवन्तु 
समस्त लोका सुखिनो भवंतु श्री सचिदानंद सतगुरु साईनाथ महाराज की जय गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्मा तस्मै श्री गुरु वेद तस्मै श्री सचिदानंद सतगुरु साईं मेरे बच्चे साईं 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 